surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Eve Essentials here. Today's video is a requested one on how to turn a wheelbarrow into a chair. Now, this is the wheelbarrow that I got from Home Depot. And the handles are made of wood, which is going to make my work a lot easier. I'm going to start by cutting up the handles and the part that holds the wheel as well. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. The balance, if this is going to be a chair, is what I have here at the back. But I think I might have made a mistake cutting off the handles. Because the handles is supposed to actually make it a little bit higher. High enough for a chair. So because this is what it looks like if I keep it on the floor, I had to put back the handles. But like I said, I'm not too sure about the handles being on or off, but let's see how it goes. I'm going to be cleaning this now before I continue with the project. I'll be tufting the upper side of the chair. Now this is foam that I'm going to put right here and measure where I need to tuft. I'll be using the canvas panel. This is the size that I got and I'll be using just one. I'm going to attach it to the back and then make my tufts on it. Now you can totally use wood for this. I just had canvas panel at home, so I decided to use that instead. I'll be using a spray adhesive for a lot of attachments in this project. I'll make points on the foam where I want the tufts to be and make holes on those points using a pair of scissors. Before I continue with the tufting, I'm going to make sure that the little foam that I have will be able to go around the wheelbarrow. I'll be stapling the foam on the wood that's here and attaching it to the body of the wheelbarrow with a spray adhesive.
Now that I have foam over at the back of the wheelbarrow, I'll be removing this and placing my fabric over it. And I'll start making my tufts now. And I'll be using a heavy duty staple gun. All I'm doing is locating where the points are and stapling it down with a staple gun. If you want to attempt this, you have to remember to use a lot of fabric while doing the tufts that's going to be at the top so that the fabric can cover all around the wheelbarrow. Now I'm going to be attaching this. And before I cover the fabric all around, I'm going to cover the open spaces with foam. I'll be making some attachments at the bottom, so I'm gonna add a little piece of wood here and on the other side as well before I cover it up. So far so good, this is what we have. Now I took this out and I spray painted just the legs white. I'm gonna see if I can make a certain shape at the bottom here. So what I did was to take cardboard and measure the shape that's gonna fit at the bottom and then fortify it with extra foam board. I glued all of them together and because this is going to serve at the bottom of a chair, I decided to add plastic on top of it. This is thick enough for what I want. And when I was done, after adding the plastic, I covered the whole thing up with the same fabric and attached it to the chair. I did not like how this looked at all. I used zip ties to attach it, by the way, but I then went ahead to use other onlays that I had, spray painted them gold and added them to see if it was gonna work. Now, it didn't still look good. So what I did was to remove the whole thing and just attach the onlays the way they are with a chair without the extra bottom that I made. I'm using tack nails and glue to attach the onlays to what I've just made. And this attachment is done on the wood that I had already put at the bottom of the wheelbarrow. I covered the staple pins with crystal buttons. The shape here kind of looks like a baby carriage. <laughs> now I got this from an item that I got from the thrift store and I removed the legs. And I want this to remain shiny. So what I did was to spray paint just the bottom part and then use contact paper for the body. And guys, the reason why I changed my mind to use actual legs for a sofa on this part here is because it felt funny. You know, sitting down and then you're going to be seeing woods sticking out in front. So I had to cut the woods that are sticking out to make it look much better. Now I added more onlays to the chair and this is what it looks like. In a way, I'm not 100% happy with uh, the look only because you can still see the shape of the wheelbarrow. But this is a requested video and I loved this challenge. Now, you can also just clean up your wheelbarrow and have a throw over it. If you want to use it indoors, if you want to use it outdoors, you have to use outdoor cushions, even without doing all the extra work. But then this route that I took was to make it look extra pretty if you want to put it inside the house. Now it is strong and sturdy and I just love the way it looks at a corner.
like I said before, if you lift this up, it's gonna look like a baby carriage, which is kind of funny, but it still looks okay. Now I really hope you all enjoy this idea and then you can implement what you like into it and customize it to suit your style. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have the home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.